Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Soul Striker. Welcome back to another plugin tutorial. Today, we're doing it on a plugin called Crazy Envoy. And this is a really, really good plugin for you guys that are running like a faction server or a PvP server. This is basically supply drops, supply crates for players to go out and capture chests and gather the prizes in the chest uh, when they fall like in the war zone or something. So this is super helpful if you guys want to like encourage PvP for all those uh, try hard PvPers on your server, especially like for factions or kit PvP. Link is down in the description as always. And if you guys want uh, like titles above the chest to uh, see where your chests are, so players know where the chest will fall, uh, you can use holographic displays and uh, it will work and it will hook onto holographic displays as well. And yeah, you can have uh, variables on your scoreboard. If you're using feather boards, it will hook onto that as well. So, the main command, uh, we're just going to get right into it. So do envoy and then edit. And uh, this will give you a bedrock, and basically, as you see, I place the bedrock down over here. So we'll go ahead and uh, just place the bedrock again to add more locations. So I'm just uh, breaking them and adding them. So you can break them or add them. I'm gonna add one uh, right over here, and uh, to get out of the editor mode. By the way, this bedrock represents where chest will fall. So go ahead and go out of that. Just go ahead and click on the edit again, and it will take you out of the editor. And now I'm gonna go ahead and force stop it because I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So as you see, boom, they're beacons and they drop down, and here are the little hat holographic displays. We have a lucky crate and a basic crate. So we'll go ahead and open it. And uh, boom, there we go. We go ahead and punch it. You don't right click on it, you punch it, and uh, we got some uh, lucky stuff. So here's another lucky crate. Let's see what we can get. We got uh, another uh, lucky sword. Oh, that's actually a decent sword, not gonna lie. Come over here to another basic crate, and we got food and a uh, thousand dollars, and we and we just got fed. And uh, now, as you see, the envoy event has ended, and we are good to go. So now, uh, as you see, this is what it was. That is how the beacons drop down. You go ahead, left click, and uh, it has a little title above the chest where players can get their items. So now, let's go into the fig where you can set all this stuff up. So when you uh, first go into your Crazy Envoys plugin, this you got the tiers, config, data, and messages. So the tiers are, as you see, the tier chest, you got the basic, lucky, and titan. As you saw, we had the basic and lucky, and you can create as many tiers as you want, which is pretty awesome. You can do pretty much every, anything in this config. Go ahead and open the config up, and as you see, Crazy Envoy, you can change all the prefix, you can use color codes, can have a whole bunch of awesome stuff and then if you want like a falling block the like the beacon was falling you can set that and then this is the ID the beacon you can change it to whatever the heck you want and then uh, just the fall height that came from 15 uh, blocks above where we set the, uh, the bedrock in the beginning and then we can also have it uh, if you want to have a max amount of crates as you see this is 20 crates uh, I don't want a maximum amount of crates so I just set it defaults if you want random locations or if you want it the true or false just set it the true or false and then this is minimum radius and the maximum radius if you want random locations turned on and then five minutes is the amount that the runtime will start. So you start Envoy and it has five minutes before the chest will be automatically removed. And then you can also have a cooldown if you want. Uh, I I mean, you can have a cooldown if you want. You can do it like every 30 minutes, one hour, it just depends. And then uh, this is the set Envoy time, so like 2 a.m. That way it's specifically in the daytime, like you can set, you can look at your player data like yo most of our players come at at 2 a.m. I don't know why they would come at 2 a.m. in the morning I would probably change that to 2 p.m. but you know whatever works for your server and then here's the minimum players so it's 12 that's how many need to be on for the envoy to automatically start and here's the world messages and uh, this is the world so in the main world the envoy will drop if you want to add it in the nether which would be actually kind of cool or the end if you have like a war zone in the end or the nether you can uh, just add it right there so you just do the little apostrophe and then world, ne world nether and just end it off there and that's pretty much it and then you also have the warnings uh, the envoy warnings so like hey the envoy is about to start so you got a 30 minute 15 10 or 1 minute 
30, 10, 5, 2, and 1 seconds. So here we have the basic chest. And uh, what's really cool about this is you can set the spawn chance. There's so many cool things, as I said, you can change in the uh, config, make it super customizable, which is really good for your servers. As you see, the spawn chance. So the spawn chance is at 85% right now, so it's pretty common, not gonna lie, it's pretty common. Block that will be clicked when it lands, so this is just a regular chest as you saw. And then you also have a bulk prices, prizes, bulk prizes, and you can win multiple prizes from one crate, which is pretty cool as well. And then a holographic display as well, as you saw, this is the basic crate that popped up right above fireworks. If you want fireworks, you can add different colors as well. And you also have a signal flares, that's what was in like the main config, where you can right click it and start. Well, boy, if you want, that's up to you. And then here we get into the good old prizes. And so when you uh, come down here to change your options your, for your items that you want in your different chests, make sure you follow this because this is pretty specific of how you have to have your config in order for it to like register and work. But it's pretty simple if you guys have like worked with configs before. It's pretty, it's set up basically with like any other config when you add items, names, and enchantments. So as you see right here, I'll go ahead and uh, here is the first prize. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Go ahead and open that up. So here is the first prize. As you see, prize number one, and then this is the percent chance, ten percent chance, and as you see, a hundred, I mean a thousand dollars, my bad, a thousand dollars. So this is the message that you get, and these are the commands that it will execute. So you can have multiple commands run with the same thing, which is pretty cool as well. So as you see right here, this is the second one. So I suggest uh, to make everything, if you're not using Notepad++, just go ahead and copy it. And uh, just make sure all the lines are right aligned. Go ahead and remove that. Put that three, change this to four, and you're pretty much set. And then you can change all your messages back to how you want it. So the item of three, two, two, two is golden apple. If you put um, the colon one, that is the god apple. So we can uh, go ahead and change that to one. So that is the god apple. And then as you see the name Juicy Golden Apple, we can just change it to Gold Apple. And you can add a whole bunch of fancy color codes if you want. So say you want like a, add an enchantment to your Gold Apple. I don't know why, why you wouldn't want to do that. So you can uh, just do, oh, we need a little comma here though. We need a comma there and then a sharpness. Uh, sharpness, we'll do like sharpness 10 or something. If you want to end off there, just leave it the same. If you want to add another enchantment, we can do like fire aspect, aspect uh, like 6 or something. And so that's pretty much it. If you guys want to add enchantments, you can go to your lucky and uh, this already has like preset enchantments. So you can just like look at that, see how the example is. Just follow this uh, as I said before follow this exactly and you should be set as you see here are all the different uh, prop 4 and breaking 3 I mean the prop 2 and breaking 1 and then the Titan is a prop 4 yeah there we go so Titan is prop 4 and breaking 3 you can add so many things I really like this plugin make sure you guys go download it for your server so that's pretty much all with the config. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. It's set up and it's super easy to use. Uh, make sure you like copy and paste uh, to get all the alignments right. And make sure you also save your config and you're pretty much set. So that is pretty much it with uh, the crazy Envoy plugin. Hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to go download it. Link is down in the description. I will see you guys next time. Peace.